morning guys sorry you guys are in a different angle you guys are actually i have a tripod on my washer and you're facing my kitchen actually but i just wanted to go ahead and start a vlog today um i did i did just do a day in the life montage video but i figured i'd do a vlog um just because i don't really have any other videos planned right now well i do have videos planned i just haven't recorded them um but some of those videos were kind of like a request um but that one i'm gonna do separately just because of the fact that it's gonna cause me to have to write down and think a lot so be on the lookout for that video eventually i started a vlog today that way i just have this vlog and we'll see what i do but yesterday i should have vlogged but i didn't but we actually just ended up going out with our friends last night and we went to this like axe and throw place and you pretty much just like throw axes at a target so it's pretty it was pretty fun and then we went to outback and had dinner so i didn't record anything just because it was kind of just there but um i did take like a boomerang but I'm not, i don't know if i'm gonna put that on in this video but yeah so i'm just gonna record as much as i can and hopefully i do finish this vlog <laughs> so yeah but i did want to show you guys kind of like my getting ready for spooky season haul um if you guys remember from my videos last last year but you guys probably don't because you guys aren't subscribed to me then um i am really big on halloween it's just my birthday's in hall on october i love the fall season so i always get ready for decorating for halloween on september 1st i know that's really early but i just i love halloween so i just decided to um start getting new stuff um i do have quite a lot of stuff already well not a lot of stuff not like a lot of youtubers that you guys will see youtube mamas that you guys will see but i did get a few stuff from target the other day so i want to show you guys what i got um i did go and get this little um pumpkin candy holder it was only it's part so all the stuff was from the target bullseye area so i just grabbed it and i saw this one this was like one of the last ones and i just grabbed it it's only three dollars but yeah it's just like a candy dish you just put candy there but sometimes i just buy these things and i just duck put it in my house and use it for decoration so most of the time i won't actually use candy in there but typically i just like having this because it's really cute so i grabbed one of those and then i saw this on a in target instagram page if you guys don't know i follow a lot of costco and target pages and sam's club so I saw this on the Target page and I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. So when I went to my Target, I was really surprised that they had it. They didn't have a lot of it, but they had it. Um, but this one is just like a, I think a doorstep mat, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it outside in front of our back door, um, but I kind of don't want it to get so dirty. So I might just put it like in front of our front door inside so that way it's just there. But I got this one that is orange or black that says we're really into Halloween, which is true. I really freaking love Halloween. So I just grabbed this one. I think this one was $3. Again, you can get it at your bullseye target area. And then these ones were also in the bullseye dollar section for Target. So I grabbed this three little signs that say October 31st, no trick, just treats, welcome to our haunted house. We have a lot of signs that say welcome to our haunted house, but I'm just getting new stuff because eventually when we move, my house is going to be very Halloween-fied. Um, even because i'll have like more space so i just wanted to have this there and also i just i might put it in the kitchen for decorations um just because there's a lot i have some towels too that are for fall and for halloween so that's why i grabbed this just in case i want to decorate it in our kitchen um because usually i have a lot of decorations in our living room for the fall time and then I thought this one was super cute. This was the last sign they had there. And it was a pump it says pumpkin patch. This one was five dollars, but I'm thinking I might hang this somewhere over there. Um just because again, like I said, I have a lot of signs already that is used in our living room for all Halloween time. But I want to decorate more like fallish too, not just Halloween. So I think I might try to put this somewhere either outside or in here. So 
be on the lookout i'll probably do another video where i show you guys all my halloween decorations and how i decorated for halloween and for the fall time so be on the lookout for that video because i probably will do it again um if you guys haven't seen it last year i'll probably try to link it somewhere up there but yeah don't mind my dirty washer i told you i, I cook sometimes on here so yeah i just want to show you guys Alright guys, I am home now, and I still feel like crap, so I feel like this whole freaking vlog, I'm telling you guys, I feel like crap, so I probably should stop, but at the same time, I'm not going to because I need to do this vlog, so I might be here late with me, and I'm about to make, I'm going to start my dinner, not my dinner, I know it's it's like 10.34, so it's anyways breakfast, but I'm going to make dinner because I'm making crock pot green chili enchiladas i'm going to show you guys how i make it but it's pretty much if you guys follow tara henderson she's like a big youtube mama fucking love her but i'm gonna use the recipe that she shared and pretty much i'll just link it below but i got the idea from tara henderson if you guys were interested in how i found that recipe it's because of tara henderson so i'm gonna go ahead and make that today i'll show you guys how i make that and then I don't know, we'll see how I do for the rest of the day. I might do, like, a Sunday vlog, but, oh my god, I do not feel good, guys. But, I might show you guys what I got from Costco, but at the same time, I don't want to be, like, so overboard with my hauls. I know you guys really like the hauls, but I kind of just want to keep it right now to just where I do one big Costco haul once a month, but I did have to get diapers and stuff for Kaysen today and formula, so that's why I went to Costco anyways. So I'll probably show you just a little bit of what I got from Costco today in my haul, in my vlog. That way I don't have a separate video, so yeah, sorry if you guys wanted to see like a complete separate video of my Costco haul, but at this point, I'm kind of just trying to have a system going with my channel. Why? Why? I don't feel good. <laughs> and I feel like I've been barely into dressing like a mom. I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean you're dressing like a mom? You look like any other person. But I've been wearing hats more because my hair is always a mess. And this past week I've been dealing with some shit. So it's, I've honestly been looking like a mess. And I, I'm not wearing makeup right now. I, I am having my sleep makeup because I didn't take off my makeup last night. Like I said, I've been a mess lately. But I have a hat on, I'm wearing this like rib tank, here I'll show you guys, I have, like this rib tank top and then I'm wearing like jeans, high waisted jeans, so I feel like I've been looking so much like more like a mom every single day, but I don't know, but yeah. Alright guys, so I'm just going to show you a few things that I got from Costco, so I did get more of the cold brew coffee, I still have more in the fridge, but I like to stock off of this stuff because I drink coffee like every single day, it's it's mom life unfortunately i just i drink a lot of coffee which is bad but i freaking love coffee so i did go ahead and get more cold brew coffee um the recipe that i'm using today called for chicken stock and i didn't buy some at walmart actually so i ended up buying the ones from kirkland i think i don't even know how much is in here but i did buy oh it says six resealable cartons which is okay um just because anyways i cook with a lot of chicken stock and make a lot of soups and it's about to be fall so i decided i'm gonna go ahead and get some stock up on chicken stock um and i'm actually working on i'll probably do a separate video on this because i've been working on this forever now but i have this household planner that i got from a etsy shop and pretty much i just have all this stuff that is all about my family and our household um and i'm currently working on the pantry inventory because i actually have a stock up pile <laughs> that i was planning on making a video for at one point but i it's a little hard because it's in our outside closet so i can't easily show you guys that but yeah so i'm probably gonna do a separate video on this eventually um just because it's actually a household planner and i just kind of want to show you guys like everything that i'm using for it and why i'm using it and yeah so i i'm just a very organized person so that's why i have this and then i did get two formulas um case and sauce formula right now but typically we like to have two in hand that way we don't have to go back to costco to get it and honestly 
like I told you guys before, it's always the generic brand because Kaysen is not picky. And then I did get this for Cody. He was like either wanted a margarita or he wanted to get beer. And I figured this was on sale for $6.99. I should have got two, but I only got one. But this is the ready to drink margarita. Um, my Costco, the one I go to, doesn't have the strawberry one. And Cody wanted to try the strawberry one, but I wasn't going to drive to the other Costco. So I just grabbed this one. Um, but yeah, I grabbed that. Okay, sorry for my very unorganized haul. But like I said, I wasn't really planning on doing a Costco haul. But I'm doing it for my vlog because it's just mm. content that I can just add. So I did get some size 4 Kirkland diapers. Keithson's not in size 4 yet. He still fits in size 3. I didn't know that the Kirkland ones, um, they say it's 16 pounds of 28 for size 3. So I probably could have got away with getting size 3. But I grabbed size 4 just in case because Kaysen's going to be a year old soon, so. And I don't know why Kirkland does this, but I mean, it's whatever. But it seems like the Kirkland diapers for size 4 is, is a little bit girly. But at this point, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. It's just diapers, I guess, so who cares? So, yeah, I just grabbed these diapers for size 4. It's going to last us a while, so. I grabbed that. And then again... Sorry about my very unorganized haul. I wasn't planning on it, but this is kind of a mess right now because I did go to Walmart. Um, but I did go ahead and get some Cal Organic. Uh, sorry, guys, I can't talk. Cal Organic cut and peeled baby carrots. It was just something that I knew we needed um, just for like certain recipes and stuff. And I didn't know it was like so huge. So. <laughs> whatever i just grabbed it and i think those were like 10.99 but I, it's gonna be good because i probably gotta snack on these at work or something one of these days too and then i had chicken breast put out but i did want to grab some chicken thighs because i i ended up not grabbing it at walmart i forgot to so i just ended up buying it at costco and that's fine because i'm probably gonna use this for different recipes and we also need chicken anyways at one point because we are running low not running low but we just are running low on meat now just because i've been clearing out the fr the freezer as much as i can so i did get the boneless and skinless chicken thighs this one was about seven pounds and 70 70 7 point 77 pounds and this one was 23.23 i didn't need a ton so that's why i grabbed like the cheapest price because i just ended up needing like maybe two of these for today's recipes so i grabbed that and then we did need ground beef and i was planning on getting the big one but we don't have room for that so i just grabbed the organic ground beef i've had this before these are really good and um we like organic a lot in this house or i try to be as organic as we can be in this house but you guys know how that goes sometimes it's just it's really expensive to be organic and i'm trying to really budget my money right now um just because we are going on that trip like i told you guys earlier so that's why i'm trying to be really i wanted to grab more stuff at costco but i i saved myself so yeah i just grabbed this these are always 20 dollars um for a three pack and i mean i don't always cook with ground beef but i do need ground beef because i still need to make those stuff portobello mushrooms which i might do a what's for dinner but we'll see <laughs> and then you guys know how i feel about these organic caesar salad kit this is just my favorite freaking caesar salad kit from costco i can eat the whole thing love this thing if you guys haven't tried it please try it i know caesar salad is not exactly the healthiest but it's freaking good so i highly recommend those and then you guys know how i feel about these two i didn't really like the members mark one as much so i ended up getting this because we have some sandwiches that i need to make so yeah i grabbed that jump into the car on a friday night i want to drive with you looking for a bar in the nearest town i've never seen a sky so blue to be yours
So this is what it currently looks like and right now I have it on low. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five to seven hours and then, so it's 11, 15 now, so around 12, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like around 5.30ish, I'm gonna check the chicken just to see how it is doing, um, to see if it shreds and then I will continue on the recipe, which you guys will see. What are you having? You're having strawberries, chicken, and blueberries, huh? You look so angry. <laughs> you look so angry. You want water? Mm-hmm. Wow, wow. <laughs> Good boy. He just learned how to do that, guys. Alright guys, there is too many damn people outside today, so I'm going home. Um, I got like two things at Target, so it's not really worth showing you guys what it is, but it's literally just cream cheese and lip scrub, which I'll show you. It's new, it's the St. Ives lip scrub, and my ass needs it because usually my lips are fucking trapped like crazy, so we're gonna go home because it's way too busy out here and I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, so I'm gonna go. All right guys, I'm gonna show you quickly my um, Bath and Body Works haul. So, I just got like this little bag and they were giving out waters. <laughs> I got a free water, but here's that hand soap holder I was talking about. It's like pumpkins. This one's the skinny ones. So these ones are $10.95, but if you get like the bigger ones, I think, um, like for these size, I think these ones are $14.95 if you get like a holder like this. But it's supposed to fit like this kind of style, so that's what it looks like. But this is the one I got, it's sweater weather. And then I got two of the last vampire blood ones. So I'm hoping next week I can end up getting the girlfriend. I'm probably gonna order it online because eventually if Unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to get it online or in person, so it's fine. So yeah, and then like I said, from Target, I just got the cream cheese for the recipe I made and some St. Ives lip scrub, so we'll see how it goes. So it's actually 427 now and the recipe said for about like four to five hours on high. I told you you guys I was doing it on low, but I ended up doing it on high. <laughs> and you can go ahead and take out the chicken, and then you're just going to melt the cream cheese, which I'll show you guys how to do that. But I'm just going to take out the chicken, and then melt the cream cheese in the microwave for like 90 seconds, and then put that in here. And then you guys, you're supposed to whisk the cream cheese in it. So we'll try.